today we're gonna be doing something pretty cool. We're gonna be sending this payload right here to the stratosphere. The idea of a weather balloon is pretty simple. In our case, a large latex balloon is filled with helium, which creates lift. This balloon is attached to a parachute, and this parachute is attached to the payload. Our payload contained a GoPro to capture video of the flight and a spot GPS tracker so that we could find it later. The parachute allows for a safe, slow descent of the payload back down to Earth. We made some final preparations, and before we knew it, we were ready for launch. Three, two... card ran out of storage but the balloon was still rising and we still needed to find the payload what's going on right now um we got some orange trees and stuff nothing really cool to look at it's really kind of in the middle of nowhere we are currently at a gas station in avon park as a bunch of trucks full of oranges are rolling by we haven't got a signal for about an hour so we're hoping that uh we'll get a signal pretty soon it's been about it's two and a half hours and the whole entire launch is supposed to take two hours and 35 minutes so either a it's landed and it hasn't sent out a signal which is really bad news or b it's still landing we should be able to find it we were just about to give up hope and we were just going to turn around and we just did one more refreshing just to make sure that we were good and we were about to go home and then we got this then we got this track here we're going to Kissimmee Prairie Preserve State Park Let's go. Okay, so right now we're going down a trail uh, in the state park and uh, hopefully, or not hopefully, we are going to find the uh, the payload. We're currently out in the prairie. We got to the place where the uh, tracker and the payload is about. So we went off the main road and now we are really into the boonies. Okay, we are currently in the middle of the prairie. We have this narrow path that we're following and I'm praying on uh, Austin and Parker being in front of me so they get bitten by the snakes and not me. Okay, so we finally went all the way through there and we came to another trail. Eight so miles. we're just gonna go up here a little bit and uh, and we're gonna find the payload. No, we weren't able to find it, which sucks. So we we're 900 feet away, but the marshes were too thick and we weren't able to go through it. So um, we might be able to come out later and uh, get it, but for now, we'll have to call it quits for tonight. We're walking down the trail, and as you can see, see those trees way out there? That's where we just were. And see those trees way up there? That's where we're going. Okay, we finally made it to the brush, and my feet are right, killing me. Hit me up with a Mountain Dew. I agree. Okay, it is Sunday morning, and we just got a phone call from the park rangers, and they're gonna go out today and look for our payload. So, uh, I really hope they find it. We just got a call from the park ranger, and they found it on the uh, spare store that they were doing. And one of the volunteers who was working with them, they actually live nearby, uh, so we don't have to drive all the way out there. So uh, tomorrow night, we're gonna go get it. We finally, have uh, our balloon back. So we have our parachute, we have our fishing line that we attached it to as a tether, and we have the remains of our balloon. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Oh, there's a bunch of ants here. The GPS tracker is still beeping. Oh my god. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video, then please leave a like or subscribe. I'd also like to thank everybody who donated to this project and really made it happen. I'd also like to thank my grandmother who helped me sew this wonderful parachute which brought uh, our payload down to earth. I'd also like to thank Satellite Phone Solutions who gave us uh, this spot GPS tracker to be able to find our payload. After a week of being in the marsh, we can see that it is still flashing green and it is still on. So if you ever need any sort of GPS tracker or satellite phone of any sorts, go to them. As you know, we spend a lot of time trekking through the prairie to try to find our payload. And the park rangers and volunteers at Kissimmee Prairie Preserve State Park were able to bring our wonderful payload back home to us. Thank you. What if we just 